Hello guys! Ok, I never thought that this day would come. We're actually making a video about the Blackmagic camera. This is the brand new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. But is it Pro? Well, let's check it out in this video. Kim? Yeah? Blackmagic, they wanted to sponsor us with a camera. Really? Yeah. Which uh, which camera? Blackmagic Design Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. Blackmagic Design Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. Blackmagic Design Cinema Pocket... Wait, one second. <laughs> Black Magic Design Cinema Pocket Camera 6K Pro. Uh, Black Magic Design S Cinema Pocket Camera 6K Pro. Black Magic Design. Yeah. Six. Black Magic Pocket Camera Magic Design. Bl Black Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. Pro. Yes. yes. It's 6K. It's Pro. It doesn't fit your pocket. We could just call it Bedukpsk 6K Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go out and shoot some stuff with the camera, let's check out the specs. So the camera has a Super 35 6K sensor with 13 stops of dynamic range, the same as in the previous camera. This sensor gives you the option to shoot 6K RAW up to 50 FPS and ProRes 4K up to 60 FPS. The new Blackmagic camera has a 1500 nit adjustable HDR touchscreen. It's both brighter than the previous version, and you can now finally flip it. This camera has many inputs and outputs. Two mini XLR inputs with phantom power, that's an upgrade. It has a mini jack input, a headphone out. The full size HDMI is great compared to small HDMI outputs, which tends to break. It even has a USB-C output, which means you can record directly to an SSD drive. This gives you a lot more storage for your money. The camera has a built-in ND, which varies from two to four and six stops. That's a great upgrade from the previous camera. When it comes to the battery life, it can now use a larger NPF570 battery, which is said to be able to record 60 minutes of 6K RAW, 24 FPS to a CFAST2 card with 50% brightness. That's up from 45 minutes from the LPE6 batteries that the previous version used. But it doesn't stop there, because now Blackmagic made a battery grip for the new Blackmagic camera. So you can actually use three batteries at the same time. A channel on YouTube called Gimbal Productions did a test with a new battery grip. He managed to record for 2 hours and 37 minutes in 6K RAW with the screen brightness set to 100%. And last but not least, you are able to buy a viewfinder for this camera. A viewfinder is great to use when there's a lot of sunlight. It makes it easier to see exactly what you record and will also save you some battery during shoots. When you start doing filmmaking or if you do like small paid projects, I think it's really nice to have a small camera to experiment with. Because there's a lot of tips out there, you know, have the camera in eye level, you should have a camera like this and you can you should shoot like this and this. But if you follow all the rules out there, every video will look the same. So having a small camera is easy to experiment, test out different angles, test out different movements, and you will find ways that yeah, give you a signature. And I think that will separate you from other cinematographers. Uh, I have a colleague and a friend at office. He's a cinematographer and he likes to use a lot of time on each shot to make it perfect. Maybe I should give him a challenge and try to make a little film with this camera and just improvise and using his intuition. I think that, that could be a nice challenge for him. So let's go. Matthias and myself, we are the two cinematographers here at Views Film Production. Unlike myself, Matthias likes to use some time on each shot to make them perfect and rig up the camera with cages, handles, extra monitors, etc. I do think that this can kill some of the intuitive and original ideas we have when improvising. So I thought I would give you a challenge. So my challenge for him is to let go of all the equipment and the time planning each shot. I'll give him 24 hours to shoot a little film using only the Blackmagic 6K Pro and maybe one lamp and one accessory. 
that's gonna be tough. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think that's a nice challenge because then you have to really push yourself to just be free and, and just experiment and, and try and see what you can come up with. Cool. It'll be, it'll be refreshing, I believe. Yeah, okay. okay. I could do that. Great. Good luck. How's it going, Matthias? Uh, it's going good, yeah. So I uh, found two models and I'm gonna shoot one daylight shoot and one night shoot. For the night shoot we're gonna use this Godox RGB light tube. And for the day shoot, I'm going to use the Sea and Crane 3S gimbal. I'm just going to follow them around the city and uh, try to make them sort of connect in the video in some sort of way, even though there are two different shoots. And yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, so compared to our other cameras, this is relatively lightweight, so it's perfect for gimbal use like this. Then it was time to shoot. Matthias hasn't filmed that much for this channel before, so this was his chance to show what he can do. And it all started really well. But then this happened. Hello Blackmagic! Yeah, everything was fine. Matthias Lien, our cinematographer, is filming. I think he knows what he's doing. Yeah, <laughs> we're, uh, yeah, we're ready within a week, I think. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, so right now we're trying to film some daylight shots and uh, we're gonna see if uh, the monitor on the 6K Pro is bright enough in sunlight, which it is. I'm currently using it on 50% and I can see fine. Uh, okay, so it's getting darker now. Um, so we're gonna have to try to push the ISO. We have lights with us, but we're gonna have to push it a little bit. Okay, so I'm actually surprised because this is really fun. Uh, I didn't know that we were gonna get such nice shots uh, just by improvising like this, so it's, uh, I'm happy so far. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna try some uh, some color effects to see how uh, how the camera handles uh, bright uh, saturated colors. Okay, are done? Yeah, I just finished up. Uh, do you want to see? Uh, I'm a bit concerned about, you know, you almost fall, fell over. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, uh, let's see. Yeah. Nice! 
Okay, what do you think? Good job, Matthias. I think it was yeah. great. So it's cool to see you, what, what you can come up with when just having the camera be free and just do improvised stuff. Yeah, I think it was a lot of fun to make as well. Yeah, it works, mm. right? Just mm. walking around like this. Of course, it's a bit more risky because you, you have to, you're not sure what you'll get, like 100%. Yeah. I had a few shots that I knew I wanted, but uh, most of it is improvised. Yeah. How much time did you actually use to color grade these shots? Because did you just press apply LUT and you have that good looking shot? Yeah, that, that's pretty much what I did. So I just uh, added a LUT and then I added a simple uh, color correction. Yeah. I don't know too much about the Blackmagic ROM, but how is it to work with that uh, codec in, in, in the Say Da Vinci Resolve? Yeah, it, it, it works really smooth. Okay, so in this shot, uh, you can just go in here and click apply LUT. And yep. I thought it looked a little bit too dark, so I uh, increased the ISO to 640. Okay, so this was, this was shot in 400 ISO? Yeah. Where you could just change it to 640? Yeah, in post. And that's like just changing it in the camera? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. And then after that, I just added a very simple color correction, just adding some blues and cyans in the shadows. Okay. Just to make it pop a little bit more. So, okay, so the daylight shots, obviously they look very good. Mm. And uh, you have some night shots. What do you think about the ISO noise? Uh, I think it's actually pretty good. And it's also 6K, so the noise is pretty small, mm -hmm. uh, which is nice. It helps a little bit. And uh, we also had the Godox lamp with us, which mm. helped a lot, just adding a little bit of detail or highlight into his face. Mm. Um, but, uh, so this was shot at 1250 and just increased it to 3200 in post. Yeah. Which uh, obviously adds a little bit of noise, but um, the noise reduction is pretty good as well in Da Vinci. So if you just set this to five. So for those who don't know, uh, you will get Da Vinci Resolve with the camera yeah. when you buy the camera. Mm. So it's a really uh, a big plus. Because I think the DaVinci costs around two hundred dollars or something. We'll put a price somewhere here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's no doubt the image quality is nice, yeah. and you can also always denoise in DaVinci, which you get with the camera. Uh, when it comes to the stabilizing, because the camera doesn't have a stabilize image stabilizing inside, yeah. how does that look? Like if you take an example of a shot you have. Okay, so this shot right here was actually shot handheld, just with holding the camera like this, mm -hmm. which I would probably not recommend because the camera is pretty short, so that adds a lot of instability to it. Okay. Uh, but you mm -hmm. can actually remove it pretty easily with the stabilization inside of Da Vinci. Uh, of course, having a tripod, having a, a gimbal or something. Or a shoulder rig. Yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, that will remove some of the flexibility when it comes to having a small camera and be able to move around. Um, so there are of course some tips out there where you can put your camera like close to your body to, mm. or you can use the viewfinder that actually will help you to, to uh, make it more stable. So how, how do you like the camera? Like, uh, I actually love it. So yeah. uh, especially I love the interface of the Blackmagic cameras mm. and I really like Black Ma Blackmagic RAW and just how like smooth the images look. Uh, so yeah, I, I actually love it. Yeah. Mm. Blackmagic cameras have been very popular amongst indie filmmakers because of the great image quality and features in a relatively small and affordable body. With the new features, there's no doubt that this camera can be used professionally as well. So I believe Pro fits its name. This was more of a test. We are going to make a review of it after using it for a couple of months. We have already brought the camera to freezy cold places and we'll make sure that all the pros and cons of this camera will be shown in the review. So subscribe to stay tuned for that video. Ha det bra and stay safe. When I think about it, every person I know that owns a Blackmagic camera is very kind and easy to be with. And I think it reflects in the camera. Här så blir man bara. Bara. Ja, är vi med dig oss. Kul. Eh, vad med dig red? Jag går fint att stå över oss. Du er aldri med på noe.
orker ikke, det er så stress, da må ha badering, badeball, badebukse, jeg må hente håndkle, solkrem, solbriller. Du trenger ikke det. Herregud, du skal bare bade. Jeg orker ikke, ass. Så, if those guys were a black magic camera and a red camera, then what camera brand are these guys? Comment below. Hvorfor skal jeg alltid peie deg for ting du har funnet ut? Fordi du aldri gidder å lage noe skjer, du bare... Du bare kommer etter meg. Det er fair å dele litt. Litt. Hallo!